Hello, my YouTubers. Can, can move my back a little bit. Here I am out in my backyard, once again, working on my clown with a tearaway face. As you, I'm not sure how good you can see, but uh, right here we have the mask. And then the head, in one hand, I started drawing. And now I'm going to start drawing a little bit more. So we got his arm here. Over here on this side, so I think I'll do that now. So we gotta this I actually help better if I get down on the ground. So I'm more uh to the level here where I can get the arm right. So so I look at it how it is here, and he's got his wrist here, and then his arm kinda his sleeve kinda is right here. And then his arm kind of comes out, but because I don't want it to go off the edge of the wood, it's just going to come down to the side of the wood. So I'm going to have it come down a little bit. So here's the shape of the arm. So that's the arm's gonna come down. So right there, if you can see it's here it's kinda long and skinny, so here I kinda made it not so skinny. So because we got the head here, it's gonna come down about here. So do his neck. So his neck is kind of right here, and then kind of come here, and I'm actually using this one line that I thought was the bad line, I'm actually going to end up using it. So because it's going to kind of come here like this, so there's his neck, and then, wait, oh, shoot. This part is supposed to be more, uh, shoot. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Because here the arm comes out more than in the belly. But here, if I do it, his belly would be right here under his arm. So i got to try to figure out how to adjust it. To make it so that it'll fit right on the... Because I'm not sure if you can tell, but if you look right here, you see how his arm kind of comes out at the angle here. But if you look here at the painting, I'm not sure if you can see it on the, the whole thing because it's in pencil. But the arm kind of doesn't go out long enough because it would need to come out here, but then it would come off the edge. So I think what I need to actually do is kind of have the arm come kind of right to the edge and then see because this was a little bit chipped right here but it's fine I'll make it work and then as for his neckline I gotta adjust this too so I have it kind of come down because his belly is gonna kind of come down like this because this is the actual line here so this is gonna be his belly so his belly is gonna kind of come Curve around here to right about here. That'll be his belly. So his arm, we're going to have to come down. So we got this part of his arm here, so it's going to kind of come out here and kind of open up here and come up, and then we got. 
the online there. And then this other part of the arm, well, we're just going to kind of we'll just leave it open. So the arm comes down here and then out because this isn't part of it and this isn't. That is part of it. So his arm is actually going to be like this. So it's going to come down here like this. And then come up like this. That'll be his arm right there. So, now I just got to get all the proportions and everything else looking the way I want it to. But I don't like this already, how that looks. Because this kind of kind of comes down more at an angle. So we're going to kind of angle it and then have it come down. So that's his belly and that's his arm on that side. So now we're here on this side, I gotta figure out how to do this. Cause this is the part that's gonna be kind of tricky. So because his arm is really long on here. So I'm probably gonna make his arm come up the way it is on this side or do the same thing over here. So, cause we got this here. There's like a little shaped thing here that his arm comes out of. And then his arm comes down here. And then like that. And this is the part where I got to change it to make it look more like that. So he's got his arm here, and then the difference is, is I'm going to have it come up just like that one there. So, in order to do that, I probably want to, the way it's drawn, how I have it drawn here, I want to do the same over here, because if you look at the original picture, he kind of sticks his arm out, but I want it all to fit on this piece of wood. So instead of having him come out and like be off the wood, I'm going to just have his arm come down and kind of have this one come up to the side. So that one's up to the side holding his mask. And then this one will come off up to the side here holding. Oh, my knees are starting to hurt. I'm getting old, so it's not fun getting old. So I got to now make this arm come kind of up here. So. I'm going to try to do it just like that. I have that arm. So he's going to kind of, except it's going to be kind of coming more towards the back way. Then, like how that one's going in, this one's going to be going out. So, basically the same way it is there, I do it over here. I think, if I got this, if I got this figured out right. Because it would have to, his arm would have to come like this, basically. Figure it, figure it out, right? I'm right there, and then the horn will be right here. I think it's right. But I gotta go sharpen my pencil. I should have brought my pencil sharpener with me. But we can see that I'm gonna do this arm and come down here. But instead of, I think, what I'm gonna actually do with this arm is just have it like that and then just kinda, because I wanna kinda get it rounded. Kind of goes in. Because I'm trying to get it so it looks like the other arm over here. See, but here I got the space because so you can see 
that his arm is right here. And then you just have a line here, and then you get the little bit of line here. And we'll do something like that, so you can sort of see. And then here. So there's your arm coming in. And I figure that line is there, so we want to kind of do the same thing with this arm. So we kind of want it to come down here. And then the hand, this is the tricky part because you got the thumb coming up here. Okay, come in here. Because we got this ball right here. Well, the ball, it's kind of like a horn. So you got the one finger. There, and then you got another finger that comes out about here. Get the ball from the horn right there. I know that because see those fingers look smaller than these over here do now. But there his fingers aren't are like more close or over there his fingers are kind of smaller here, they're kind of bigger because they're holding the ball. So so these actually I think these I mean these are a bit too big. I don't want them like super huge because they do need to somewhat look like that one so probably just about here so right there and then, and then this one kind of go that there and then And then this one, same thing, kind of here, and then kind of up around like that, and then we got the ball here. So it's kind of, sort of, it, so the fingers there, and so this one I kind of like it where it kind of does come up more straight. So you got his fingers there, and then you got the horn here, so... Now this is the part where I got to make sure that I get it so it goes right. Because the top of the horn is going to be here. So I want to sort of bring it down here like this. To here. And then do it again. Come up. Like this. Kind of right on the edge. So there's the horn. So here's the horn that he blows. And then there's his arm. So if you look now, if you look now, you see we got the one arm coming out over here, holding the mask, and there's his head. So you see the the his propeller that's on his hat, and then here's the hole where his face was, and then you come over here, you got this arm coming up here, blowing the little the horn, which I think I might have actually made the horn too big. Yes, I did. His hand and the horn are too big. Now I'm looking at it. So what I'm going to do is I need to get a, well, I guess I can just use this one is I'm going to have to erase this hand. I like the arm. I'm going to leave the arm the way it is. But this, these fingers, I figure why these fingers look so much bigger than that. Because I made this hand too big. Because if you look at these fingers, 
how big they are. These are more like real fingers. When those are over there, look more like small little claws. So what I got to do now is I have to erase the horn and the hand, make the hand and the horn smaller, which actually might be better because then the horn might not come so close to the edge. And I need to sharpen my pencil. So let's see how long am I on here? 15 minutes? So actually, hmm. Now I'm going to do it now. Let me erase this now. Because I still got enough eraser on this pen pencil that I can erase this. I'm going to have to go to the store and buy those erasers that like you stick on the end of pencils. Because I'm like going through all my erasers. So. So let me just erase this. So I can come back and redo that. And the same with his hand, because his hand is way too big. So let me erase this, his hand. And then I'm going to recalculate it. Re I don't know recalculate is the right word, but i got to redo it. And you know... I was just thinking, you know, I talked to somebody tonight, uh, my new subscriber. I should ask you your name, but I do remember your dog's name. Your dog's name is Shadow. You got a cool dog, by the way. But you did give me an idea that, you know, I make these right now for myself as decorations. But if anybody out there, my subscribers that are watching, would like to, leave me a little comment right now. Where is it? Right about here? I think it's like right in here. And tell me, and maybe I could try to make some time to make one for you. Okay, I think his wrist is too big. So I think I need to make this wrist smaller. And I have my bigger eraser, so I gotta remember that. The next time I do it, so because his wrist. There is smaller, so we want to make this one here smaller too. So probably right about there. And then we're going to just kind of come down here like this. Like that. And then now we can make his hand smaller. Because we want this finger here to come up. Like that. So there's his thumb. It's smaller now. Is that too small? That actually might be too small. I think it's too small. So actually we're going to bring it here. So there it is there. His thumb. And let me see. I used to have a pencil sharpener out here, but I don't know what I do anymore. I have another pencil. Let me try this pencil. See this light is better than that one. So we got this finger here, then we look, so we can get the other finger to come around. Should be right about here. So actually, so now I look at it. This part here is his hand, and then that's the color. Of this 
is his hand, so. Because he got his arm here. So you got the one finger here. And that thumb there. And then he's got the, his other finger coming over here, almost like it's off of this one. So he's kind of holding the ball. Her, no, that doesn't look right. He, he he's got to be holding it, so... I think I'm just going to finish up this hand and then I think I'll stop for the night because both my pencils are the leads are getting low and so I need to just kind of okay, this is too much right here See, because there's the ball. I think this part here needs to actually come up to you. Know, kind of holding on to the ball better. But that's basically the idea. So you got the hand here. Now you see the edge of the ball. From the. From the horn. You got the ball here. And then looking at it this way. Gonna kind of. Actually I think you said having it straight up. I would go to an angle. Now to mention it, it'd probably look better that way. We we'll kind of have it going here. And, uh, and the angle here. So now that doesn't look right. You know what? Okay, because I think this angle here is wrong. So, I need to redo this. But, I'm thinking I might stop for the night because I'm getting tired and it's getting late and I think I'm on about 20 minutes now and you guys are probably starting to get bored me just drawing. So I think next time, so next time, my next video, I will finish doing the horn and start on the rest of the body. So I hope you like this and my other videos and so I hope you like this and my other videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and please like this with all your friends. Tell them to subscribe to my channel. I got one new subscriber tonight, and I'd like to get some more. So, thank you, my YouTubers, and see you next time.